What is going on, Shadow Squad? Welcome to a new guide series I am starting on one of the hardest but funnest survival games I have ever played, Green Hell. In today's guide, I'm going to be showing you how to get the grappling hook in survival mode. Now, if you guys need to find the grappling hook in story mode, I'm going to leave a link in the description below so you guys can go see that video. I've got another video on how to get there on the, in the story mode. It's a little bit different than the survival guide. So, without further ado, let's go get this grappling hook also if you guys want to see any other guides let me know in the comments and uh i will knock them out for you guys so i like to start right around here this is kind of usually where i set up my base my first base that i really really kind of get into it's a good starting central location it's the tiny rundown tribal kind of like village hut you get a few good things here it's right around 46 26 um so good little place to get going you get your drying rack over here. Um, they leave a bone knife. There's already hammocks for you to sleep in. You can get uh, a nice little spider trap if you want. Oh, why do you want a spider trap? I don't know, spiders freak me out. But anyways, let's get to the grappling hook. I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna leave my wristwatch out the whole time so you can see where we're going. And then we're just gonna kind of head northeast. There's a little path right through the jungle. We're gonna come through and just head on through and just kind of follow this path around. Um, you'll just keep walking it. You can kind of tell where it's going. It's right between the trees. And then you're just gonna hang right through. You know you're going the right way if you get this little pond to your left here. Pond, puddle, little drinking station, whatever you wanna call it. And then we are gonna continue on through this archway in the mountains. And you can see it's got all the painting good to go now you do need to watch out it's fairly safe right around here but once you get through here you're gonna start running into rattlesnakes you might run into a leopard or a jaguar there is some scary stuff around here so we're gonna continue on we're gonna keep going along this cliff right to your right and as soon as it starts to turn around we're gonna turn and follow it and then we're gonna head as much north possible as we can and you are gonna stay north until you get to about uh, 46, 47 west, 17 to 16 south. Right when you go from 17 to 16, that's where you wanna head east. So I will see you all there. Another good landmark to let you know you're going in the right direction is these tire tracks in the mud right there. Now you are gonna wanna be really careful right about here at 47, 18, you can hear him singing. Hear that? There are some tribal men up here. Oh, they saw us. So just stay, stay clear of there. That is what I suggest doing. I run around it. I will do a guide on the best way to get rid of them, um, in my opinion, a little bit later on. But for now, just try to try to stay clear when you hear that. So right when you get to about here, when you drop from 47, see if I walk back a little bit, you're at 17, 16, you're gonna wanna hang uh, east and go almost as east as possible. You'll see you've got this kind of like almost little pathway right here, and that's where you're gonna wanna kind of flow through. <sighs> oh, careful, careful. I see a rattlesnake up here, you see that? Steer clear of the rattlesnake. All right, so we're gonna go through and then as soon as you can, head directly east. And you're gonna go east until you get to about 44. When you go east, southeast, you'll be all right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch out for rattlesnakes. I told you, rattlesnakes are super dangerous around here. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up along this little creek and you may come downstream from it or you may come upstream for it from it. And this will be pretty dry if it's not raining, but when it's raining, it's got some water running through it. This is what you want. This flipped over Jeep is where you wanna be. So you get quite a few good things here. You get your grappling hook, which is obviously what we came for. And you get some candy bars, some snacks, which is always a good thing. Take all your candy bars. But one of the best things that you can get in this game. Oh, where's it at? Come on. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Is this bitten? 
take a look at that. We are gonna use that. It's great, you could fill it up with water. The bidden is amazing. So, that's how you get the grappling hook, which is something that you need through the rest of the game in the rest of your survival experience to get to different areas. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. If you guys wanna see any other guides, let me know in the comments below. And if this guide helped you out, consider hitting that sub button. I will see you guys next time.